Hello there, Scorpios. Welcome to your weekly reading. The big message for you guys for this week is, um, you know, let the uh, suspicions and uh, mistrust, whatever the situation is, I feel like you kind of have to let those things go, okay? Um, because I feel like whoever you have around you, they actually have your best interests at heart. And I feel like they want to build with you. So I, I see two people. One is uh, somebody that you really trust. This can be like a childhood friend. This can be somebody that you are um, making money with, like a coworker, somebody who is in your work environment and you're generating a lot of money together. And you're also, it's, it's sort of like this unwritten, unspoken agreement that we need each other and we need to be able to trust each other. So don't listen to anybody else that is uh, interfering in that kind of work environment because it's not going to serve its purpose. I feel like you two are very like-minded. It's almost like you look at them, they look at you, and they know what you're thinking. And I feel like there's somebody that might have tried to get in between, you know, create like resentment or hostilities between you and this person. And I feel like at some times, um, like at certain times when other people have tried to get between the two of you and let's just say uh, at a, on a day when you were feeling bad, right? And you were dealing with self-doubt, you might have believed whatever was said. And then when you're feeling good again, when you're in this person's presence, that's like physical proof to you that the person has your best interests at heart. But then there are days when you kind of doubt it. So I, I feel like whatever it is, whatever um, suspicions you might have, don't let other people get in the way. Don't let other people steer you off course based on what you know to be true because of your intuition. Okay, so don't let other people steer you away from your intuition. I'm also seeing as well, uh, there is a relationship partner, somebody um, that you might have been seeing, you might have been dating. They really, really, really want to build with you. They really want a relationship. They really want a commitment. Okay, so if you started dating them and you're not at a point where you want that, you need to pump on the brakes and you need to let them know because I feel like they're fantasizing and dreaming up and conjuring up this... Um, marriage, this, um, you know, moving in together, buying property together. And I feel like if you're not ready, you definitely need to let them know. And then I also feel some of you are thinking about proposing, thinking about proposing. So congratulations for those who are dealing with that. It's uh, It looks good because you definitely have somebody who's going to be by your side. They're they're not going to run away when, when things get rough, okay? They're going to ride or die with you. So I feel like they're going to ride it out through your mood swings, through your, um, your, your low points when you are experiencing a lot of you know, self-doubt, when you're going through a lot of transformation in your life. They're going to be there. And they're going to make that very clear to you that they're going to be there. And so I, I definitely feel like you know that this person is going to be there for you and you know that you found something that is very real. But if you're not ready, then, you know, don't um, lead them on. And then on the other hand, if you are ready, I feel like they're ready. It's just a matter of both people individually. You need to be secure in your foundation first in order to make this relationship work, okay? So I feel like... It harkens back to a time in the past where you might have been financially stable, but your partner was not. And then it created so much chaos in the relationship. And I feel like that fear, that anxiety is coming back around, even though it's been, you know, years and years ago. Um, the energy is coming back around where you are very, very cautious this time around. I need to be secure financially. The other person needs to be secure financially in order for us to get together and have a successful relationship. So one person, you're starting to realize, one person cannot subsidize another person if you're in a relationship with them. Okay, like um, as much as we want to help the other person, as much as we care and we feel like money shouldn't matter, I definitely feel like there are cycles 
that are in danger of being repeated. So if you want this to work out, you need to be very realistic, and you need to make sure that the other person is stable and secure first. If they're not stable and secure on their own, they're not going to be a really good relationship partner. Even though you might love them, even though they might love you, it's just not built on anything practical. So you want to be careful about that. Um, I honestly see for some of you,、um, there might have been like a divorce or something, where you're trying to build up, you know, your assets. You're trying to、um, reinvent yourself. You're trying to rebuild. And it, it it has taken some time to to get yourself to this point where you are starting to feel a little bit less wobbly financially. You're starting to feel a lot more secure, and you're starting to, you know, be very hopeful about your financial situation, which is good. Don't let anybody detract you from that. Okay, if you feel wobbly, work on your finances, work on your foundation. Don't get into a relationship. If you feel like you need a distraction through a relationship. Find distractions. Don't make promises and promise more than you're able to deliver. Okay, because、um, once again, this、um, this cyclical pattern. This I, I feel like you know the the past coming back to haunt us. Old ways of doing need to be left behind, and we need to be very honest and very sincere with ourselves. It's almost like looking at your reflection in the mirror and asking yourself if you like the person that you are becoming, if you're truly.、Um, Truthful and honest in your dealings, and if you're happy with that, okay. So I, I definitely see a lot of introspection and a lot of、um, just the energy of you measuring your worth based on whether or not you like that person in the mirror, okay. Whether or not you're happy with the person that you are becoming, whether or not you're proud of the choices that you make. And it's a really good time to to confront ourselves and and just you know rebuild ourselves and make ourselves into the most stable, the most forthcoming, and the most honest person that we can be.、Um, I'm also seeing the energy here about somebody who's married and also in another relationship. So I see that element coming in, where I I feel like it's a it's a fantasy, you know, like it, it's at a point where. You want it to happen. You want to、uh, have an, an extramarital affair with another person because the two of you, you, you feel like a very strong soul connection. So yes, your partner is very stable. You love your partner, and you know you're you're happy. But then there's also another person outside of that relationship who you feel have a very you feel like you have a very strong soul connection with them, and. You're definitely very attracted to them. They're very independent.、Um, they have this devil may care ad- attitude. Like they don't,、um, they don't take themselves too seriously, and you find that very refreshing. They're very independent. They、um, possibly could be self-employed for some of you.、Um, they have also been through, you know, their fair share of、um, hardships in life. And they're strong, and because of that, you really admire this person, and so you're fantasizing about them, you're thinking about them, and if given the opportunity, I feel like you would step out on the relationship that you have. You have something very stable, but you are willing to risk it to be with this other person because you really like them, you're attracted to them, you admire them, and、um, so that's what I'm seeing right now. You're straddling the fence. The temptation is really strong. The temptation is really strong. The pull is very strong.、Um, so you know, once again, at the end of the day, look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, who's the person that I want to become, and am I okay with that? Am I okay?、Uh, am I going to be able to sleep at night? Am I okay with the person、uh, that I am and the choices that I'm about to make? Because I feel like some of you are risk adverse. It's in the fantasy realm. You're not gonna go ahead with it, but given the opportunity, you might change your mind. So just you know, steer clear of temptation if you can, because、um, we are heading into Mercury retrograde. By the way, November seventeen, and secrets have a habit of slipping out. Okay, we don't、um, behave as carefully as we should. We、um, 
if we lie, we, we might like uh, trip over our lies. Things will get found out at very inopportune moments. So it's just a really notorious time for things to slip out. So just be careful about that. And this energy is going to run, I believe, until December 5th. So do as you may, but, you know, just keep these things in the back of your mind. Um, what I'm getting as well is um, some of you are, are preparing for some type of a big expenditure, okay? It could be, you know, the end of the year. There's a lot of um, the holiday seasons coming up. So there's a lot of spending in general for gifts, for travel, for family. I'm also seeing taxes. I'm also seeing like uh, paying back, you know, like um, what, like property tax, for example, at the end of the year. So I feel like you're saving up for some huge expenditures and, and you're kind of frustrated. Like, I can't believe I worked so hard and, you know, the money is going to be dwindling. So there's that element here as well. Um, I'm also feeling, um, what is, family members. They're saying here, family members don't always make the best decisions. And uh, if they're younger than you, you definitely should tell them, you know, as the older adult in that relationship, okay? If they're younger than you, then definitely give them your, your opinion, tell them, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Here's what's going to happen. Give them your your um, your guidance, and you know you're using your expertise to give them proper guidance. If they're older than you, it's going to fall on deaf ears, okay? Because they feel like, oh, I have more experience than you. I've been through it all. Even though, you know, age is nothing but a number, and it doesn't really dictate somebody's emotional maturity level. It doesn't. But I feel like if they're older than you, they're not going to listen. They're not going to heed your advice. Um, they're just kind of fixed in their course of action. They're going to do what they're going to do. So I feel like it's it's already set in stone. Okay, so you're you're going to just um, whatever you say is just going to roll off their back. So don't waste your time. But if they're younger than you and you feel like, I don't know if this is, you know, my place or I don't know if I'm over um, like stepping my boundaries or if I'm going to step over somebody's toes by telling them this. If they are younger than you, I feel like they will benefit from your words of wisdom. So give them that time, give them that attention and give and tell them, you know, if it comes from the heart. It's going to be fine. OK, if it comes from the heart with good intentions, it's going to be fine. But if they're older. Um, I just feel like they're already fixed. It's it's almost like an iron cast. They're not going to change. So whatever you do, it's not really going to change the situation or change their opinion or change their course of action. Um, I see here a lot of, um, you know, as we wrap up this year, I, I feel like you, you have some regrets. Okay, you have some regrets. Regrets of like, I should have saved up more. I should have been more practical and methodical with my spending, with my earnings. I could have done things differently. But I feel like you're at a point where you're not really um, beating yourself up over it. You're taking away these things as, you know, these are micro mini lessons that will be really helpful for me next year, 2019. And so this is kind of like the the point where you are consolidating your knowledge and your wisdom so that you can you know improve upon your performance next year and so i feel like next year is going to be a very very good year for you in general um before we go as well i just want to wish you all a very happy birthday i can't believe i forgot all about it so happy birthday uh scorpios i hope you have a wonderful time uh, celebrating with your you know loved ones your fa friends and family I do want to advise you this is a card about drinking is the temperance card when it's in the reverse drinking and driving just be very careful about that okay and don't push yourself off your lim um, past your limits you guys are generally very very good with um, knowing your limit and you I for whatever reason you metabolize uh, alcohol very well substances very well and um, you keep it in so for example if you drink right and after you pass your limit some people throw up some people are just like i can't i can't have it in my body i need to you know 
um, vomited out, but I feel like you guys are really good about keeping things in. You guys are just really good about keeping things in your emotions. Whatever goes in stays in.、Um, that might not be a good thing. Okay, so don't push yourself past your limit. And、um, as well,、um, be careful about driving. Okay, drinking, driving, things like that.、Um, one last thing I want to end on is that.、Um, I, I feel like this is a year where you are straightening things out, okay? And、uh, it's gonna get better. The、uh, the the wrinkles are being ironed out, and so I feel like 2019 is going to be a lot smoother, okay? You're gonna have a better sense of where you want to go, what you want to do, and things are gonna flow a lot more smoothly, okay? So trust me on that. It will be fine. So I wish you all the best and take care of yourself. And、um, I'll talk to you guys in about a week or so. Take care.